Hey guys, uh, Mr. Barnes here again. There was a bunch of questions in class today when we were doing a review about uh, when you're given a situation like this, uh, where you have three points that lie along a quadratic, um, and you're given this equation here, at squared plus bt plus c, sometimes it's ax squared plus bt, or bx plus c, and that's y instead of h to t. How do you find the coefficients a, b, and c? So, uh, we did a couple examples today. I thought I might just do uh, one so you can have a look at it and see if you need something to refer back to when you're studying. Um, first thing I'll mention is that you only need three points. We have three uh, variables here, a, b, and c. They're coefficients, but um, we're trying to find those coefficients. Um, we only need three points because all we need are three equations to be able to solve those three uh, coefficients. So the first thing we do, we take our first point. So let me just break it a marker here. So we take our first point, recognize that that is, um, uh, this is t, this is h of t. I'll just call it h just for uh, room. I don't have much room here. Okay. So what we do is we put, we receive h of t. We're going to put, actually I'll write out the point that I'm using here. Okay, so 0, 5. So where I see my five, my h of t, I'm going to put 5. So 5 is equal to a and 0 squared plus b and 0 plus c. And I'll reduce that down a little bit. Now, the reason I'm going to go 0a plus 0b plus c, the reason I'm going to do that is put my zeros in. Normally, I you know I can find c is equal to five there. Um, the reason why I'm doing that is because I'm going to solve this with a matrix equation. Okay, so I, I want to know what my you know what my coefficients in my matrix uh, my coefficient matrix are. So I'm going to solve this with a matrix equation, and I find that is just a reference for myself that I got to remember to put those zeros in. All right, so I take the next point, and this one is four nine. So here we go. 9 is equal to a 4 squared plus b times 4 plus c. And I'll reduce that down to 9 is equal to 16. a plus 4b plus c. There we go. And last point is 10, 0. So we have 0 is equal to uh, a times 10 squared plus b times 10 plus c. And that leaves us with 0 is equal to 100. a plus 10b plus c, and that is our three equations. Now recognize, I know on the exam last year there was an, uh, there was a situation where it was given four points. If you're given four points, just pick three of the easiest ones to work with. Okay, so be cognizant of that. And for 2205 students, um, you may not be given these points. They might be written out in the equation, and you have to decipher what those three points are. So if you're given the points, it's a bonus. If not, you might have to look through the or sorry the word problem and then find the three points. They'll be written there somewhere, but you might have to just decipher what's x, what's y, what's t, what's h, okay? And generally, time is x, okay? Time is x. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to write out my matrix equation. So this might take me a little while here. So remember, these are your coefficients, This, these are your constants, and a, uh, b, and c are your variable matrix. So I got my first equation is 0, 0, 1. 16, 4, and 1, 100, 10, and 1, and my coefficient, or sorry, my variable matrix is A, B, C, and again, my constant matrix is 5, 9, 0. Alrighty, so there is my uh, matrix equation. So I just want you to recognize that this is the coefficient matrix. 
right here. This is the variable matrix, and this is the constant matrix. Okay, so uh, a multiple choice question on the common exam could simply be identify the coefficient matrix of you know, these th three equations or these two, or identify the constant matrix. So a very easy question if you know what it means. But if you don't know what that means, then you know it's pretty much impossible. Um, all right, so um, my first step when you get this matrix equation, you want to solve it. Again, guys, if you want to do elimination here at this step, by all means, go ahead and try elimination or substitution. You can actually turn this into a 2 by 2 matrix if you choose to because you already have C is equal to 5, and you can just sub it in here, and you're just solving for A and B. So by all means, you can go ahead and do that. I'm just going to solve it with the matrix equation just for the sake of review. So the first thing um, is you do is you find your inverse matrix, okay? And again, for a 3 by 3 matrix, this is something that we do with the TI. So I'll break up my TI, and I will show you guys how to um, find it. And hopefully this will work for me. So here's my Wabbit Emu. So here we go. Um, I go second function matrix. I'm going to go over to edit. And I'm going to insert in my A a 3 by 3 matrix. And I'm going to um, insert this matrix just as I see it there. So 0, 0, 1, 16, 4, and 1, 100, 10, and 1. So there's my matrix equation. I always give it a good double check here. Okay. So I'm going to go second function quit and go back to my main screen. Then I'm going to second function make sure again. And uh, get A back to your main screen. We're going to take the inverse of it. And recognize we don't just go negative 1. We have to use this inverse button, which is conveniently located in the same button we press when we pitch matrix. I'm sure that's not a coincidence. And we press enter. Okay, so we get there. We press enter. And this is my matrix. So you got some pretty gnarly decimals there. So uh, my recommendation will be go second function. Or sorry, just press math and go fraction. And turn that into something a little bit uh, more reasonable to look at. So we got um, we got some pretty uh, you know pretty good fractions there. So let me just write that matrix equation down. So I got one over forty, um, negative seven over twenty. Then I got one. Hopefully I got enough room for this. Negative one over twenty-four. Five over twelve. And zero, and zero, and one over sixty, and negative one over fifteen. Okay, so that's my inverse matrix. We always show this, okay, guys. Um, and one of the things that we got to make sure that we're doing when we solve a system with a uh, with a matrix equation. Again, that's only if we're allowed to. If the question says solve elimination or substitution, you have to do that. But for these type, usually it won't. So you're allowed to as long as you show all your workings, which means finding the matrix equation and also showing how you solve for the variable matrix. So the next step is we take, um, we use our matrix notation that we learned. So we go A, X, sorry, AX equals B is what I want to write. AX is equal to B. So again, this is my coefficient A. This is A right here. Uh, variable matrix right here. And my constant matrix B. So what we had to do was multiply both sides of my matrix equation by A negative 1. So A negative 1 times A. X is equal to A negative 1 times B. So what I want you guys to recognize while we do that, A negative 1 A negative 1 times A is equal to our uh, famous identity matrix. And your identity matrix is if you multiply anything by the identity matrix, you always get your you always just get the same matrix back. So it's like multiplying by 1 we talked about, right? So this is I X is equal to A negative 1 times B. Okay, so now we recognize I times X is just going to be X, right? It's the, ma it's the identity matrix. So we have this situation. So I keep doing that for some reason. Um, a negative 1 times B 
gives me x. Okay, so again, we'll go back to our uh, graphing calculator. We go um, second function matrix. So this time we have to put our b in there. So I'm going to go over to edit again and go down to b. And I'm going to put a 3 by 1 matrix in there. And that my, my, my constant matrix b, of course, is 5, 9, uh, 0. So 5, 9, 0. And then I'll go second function quit again. So then um, I go back to my matrix, or I don't mean second function matrix again. And then A, negative 1 times, and second function matrix again. Get my B there. And I press Enter. And recognize I just solved for uh, my A, B, and C. So from that, I can write my A, B, C is equal to and uh, negative 0 0.25, 2 and 5. So let's see. Um, negative 0 0.25, 2 and 5. All right, so that's my co that's my coefficients of my quadratic. So now what I need to do is actually write that out. So I have h t is equal to negative zero decimal two five t squared plus two t plus five. And there we go. That's my um, that is my quadratic, and that is a review of matrix equations. Um, guys, remember when you're solving with matrices, show all workings 100%. If you don't show this stuff, you're not going to get full marks, I can guarantee you. Okay, good luck. Thank you.